Every day that Dobsonville carpenter and food lover Lanz Lazondi opens his family cotta business to local customers is a celebration of his father's legacy. A man who taught his son his trade then opened this cotta enterprise to keep him and his sister busy on weekends. Hi Inside SA, my name is Nanta Zondi from Top Saint Soweto and this is Zoe's Come On In. With me here I've got my family, this is Nobuse, my beautiful sister, and my daughter Tando Leitu. and then on my left here, this is Minentle, one of my daughters also. What brought the love of making food for me was my late uncle Muzi. He will bring in the old steel pot, the three foot, and then we'll cook outside. It's either you'll come with a chunk of meat, and then we put veggies, and then sometimes it's mohodu, sometimes it's trottles. So from there, my love for cooking started there. I really, really love my family because they mean so much to me. Each and every day when I wake up, they are the one who make me do more when it comes to food. These ingredients, they are being inspired by these beautiful people here. I help my dad by putting the sauce and cutting the bread. My dad's cooking is very creative and very delicious. The lessons that I got from my dad is Nothing is impossible because even the term impossible says I am possible. So with my girls, what I do in each and everything that they do, each and every project that they start, they need to make sure that they finish it because there's nothing impossible. Once you put your mind and your focus in it, it's possible for you to do it. As if to prove it, this stretch limo arrived. Flanfla had recently opened a Capitec bank account, making him their 20 millionth client. And that called for a big celebration. Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Capitec. Having a beautiful day today. <laughs> Since this entrepreneur's goal is to follow in his father's footsteps in being the best at what he does, Capitec had arranged for Chef Sizwe Tebekulu to host the family at his academy. The whole idea about today is just so that you can have fun in the kitchen, interact with the Chef Sizwe, so that we can all learn how to do a pizza. So we have a culture when you come to the kitchen. Whenever a chef is speaking, you say, yes, chef. OK? Yes, yes chef. chef. Can I have a bit more fire? Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef, that's much better. Please join me in the kitchen. Yes, yes chef. chef. The family got the full chef makeover from head to toe. We are going to be doing pizzas, OK? But what makes these pizzas unique is that we are going to incorporate our proudly South African ingredients in these pizzas. So right here, we have a number of ingredients. Of course, you do have your pizza dough. Today as well, we are going to be using inyama and shogo, ne? Yes. Who has had the pizza with inyama and shogo? Mm. No one, OK? Mm. We're going to try it out and see how it's going to work, OK? Yes, Chef? Yes, Chef. Thank you, thank you. Right here, we're going to do, young ladies, what is called chaka like a chicken. Yes, Chef? Yes, Chef. Last but not least, we have this lovely ingredient which is called mkhodune. We also have the acha. acha. So that's what is going to make this pizza exciting and uniquely South African. Are we guys ready? We are ready, okay, yes, Chef. Okay, we'll start on three, two, one, go for it. Nsansa believes strongly in the proverb of teaching a man to fish so he can feed himself for a lifetime. What I love most is making traditional food, but I so wish to learn how to do sushi, fish, I need to be a sous chef. This experience of having such a beautiful and amazing kitchen, it gives me goosebumps and on top of that it makes me want to come and work more and more in such an environment. How are you doing over here? I'm doing good. Okay, so the whole so idea, you need to swell the pizza, ne? With your food is like Unshanta, we make sure that there's continuous training and development where we run community skills programs for people that uh, run their businesses like us. We also teach them uh, business development skills as well, you know, just so that they can run successful businesses. So we do brand development, uh, financial discipline, financial acumen, and that's what is in our DNA pretty much. 
This was turning out to be everything which Mr. Zondi had imagined when he got the call from Capitec, telling him what they'd planned to toast him being their 20 millionth client. I felt so, so, so happy because when I got the call, I didn't expect to call it anyway. And the experience today, it was overwhelming to me and my kids. When I signed up, I signed up at uh, Horizon Brunch, and the process was very fast and quick. The lady who helped me there was very generous and very welcoming. It didn't take me even 20 minutes. I went in the brunch, quick in and out. I was back at home with my card with me. The reason that made me join Capitec account is due to their fast transactions. I'm able to send money quickly to my family members, to people that I'm working with using their cell phone number. There's no reason for me to even take their account. I just use straight their cell phone number. As a branch, we are very excited to be part of this milestone. We work for a bank that is growing daily. All of our clients are special. But to meet the 20th million one is a moment I will never forget. They weren't done yet. For a most special dessert, the Zondi family had been invited to join a chef who cooked for the most famous son of South African soil. My name is Chef Andile Somdaga. I'm a, I used to be a former personal chef to Nelson Mandela. Okay. And here in the restaurant, everything is actually inspired by what I used to serve to Madiba. That's great. To the great, That's great. That's great. So I would love to take you in and just show you around. What we do here, we serve seven beans, um, gosho, e, dumplings, e, stews, e, these things that I used to serve Madiba, yeah. Yes. And I actually joined Madiba when I was only 24 years old. And how was it cooking for the president at that age? I never realized how big it was until I left the position. The position. <laughs> no, that's great, that's great. Yeah. Which dish did Dada Mandela really enjoy? He loved um, gosho. Mm -hmm. uh, seven beans and then used to also enjoy his roast chicken also with it. Oh. I've actually created some dessert for you. Oh, that's which good. Which is like your chocolate malva pudding. Mm -hmm. And then it's served with custard. Custard. Yeah, and we also have like ice cream. This yeah. is a beautiful this meal. Is this, nice. is a beautiful oh, this is meal. my all-time favorite. Today's day was really wonderful. We really enjoyed our day from our first meal that we prepared, the pizzas, to the dessert that we're having today with Chef Andile. It was really wonderful. The limas and ride was amazing. And then it was our first day riding in a limousine. It was fun. My favorite moment of today is enjoying pizzas with my family and having a lovely time with them. Capitec, I really, really thank you guys for the experience. Can you please share this again with us? A restless entrepreneur, Nsansla's next plan is to teach his kids agriculture so they can also grow their own food. And if he's inspired your own Live Better idea, then take the first step to making it happen with your chance of winning a thousand rand cash prize courtesy of Capitec. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag Live Better with Capitec. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website.